Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at four different types of immunity where immunity can be classified as naturally acquired or artificially acquired. It may also be classified as an active form of immunity or a passive form of immunity. Now as stated, we have naturally acquired versus artificially acquired immunity where naturally acquired immunity may be active or passive and artificially acquired immunity may also be active or passive. Now you can pause the video and read about a few of the different type of immunities or we can move on to looking at the four different types and we're going to start by looking at active naturally acquired immunity but first let's look at the difference between active versus passive immunity now active immunity is said to be present where the body makes its own antibodies and passive immunity occurs where you are supplied with ready-made antibodies now you can pause the video and take down the difference between active immunity and passive immunity but let's move on in the meantime now active naturally acquired immunity is said to be the body's natural resistance to infection where some sort of microorganism which is a pathogen enters the body on the surface of the pathogen would be antigens and the body is said to make its own antibodies in response to those specific antigens now as said before on first infection the body will respond by producing antibodies and on second infection your immune system or lymphocytes can more easily recognize and remember the antigen and therefore it can produce antibodies more quickly and the pathogens are removed from the body before a person even appears infected or develops the symptoms of the disease now some examples of active naturally acquired immunity are chickenpox or mumps and this immunity may be lifelong or immunity can be temporary in the form of a flu which may be passing around which you can become immune to as a result of your body's immune response that is its active naturally acquired immunity so we've said that active immunity is where the body makes its own antibodies so let's look at passive naturally acquired immunity where a body may be supplied with ready-made antibodies so for example we have a mother and a baby and this type of immunity is referred to as passive natural immunity where antibodies or ready-made antibodies are supplied to the baby in the form of breast milk now breast milk contains antibodies and the baby on consuming the breast milk acquires a form of active sorry passive immunity and these antibodies are said to protect the baby for a short time following birth while its own immune system develops now this is one way in which ready-made antibodies can be acquired another way is from mother to fetus during pregnancy where antibodies produced by the mother can enter into the bloodstream of the fetus across the placenta now this is considered to be passive immunity because it is a form of ready-made antibodies and of course it is natural as the source of the antibodies is human meal. 
So we've talked about the two types of natural immunity. Let's look at an artificial type of immunity. And we'll be looking at active artificial immunity. One of which you may know but not know in terms of these details. Now, active artificially acquired immunity, as you can see here, is in the form of a vaccination where a vaccination is said to contain a dead or weakened form of a pathogen microorganism and as such a vaccination would contain antigens now take note here that the vaccination which is administered in the form of an injection is too weak to make you sick meaning that the number of antigens in the vaccination is only sufficient such that lymphocytes will recognize the antigen and produce antibodies and your body may respond by uh, mild symptoms of the disease it might be a runny nose a headache etc and what happens on this first exposure to the antigen in the form of the vaccination is that on production of the antibodies on second exposure to the same antigen we, it is said that your body produces an active immunity because on second exposure more of the antibodies can be made in response to the same antigen such that you do not develop symptoms of the disease now can you state any vaccinations you have received and can you say if you've actually developed any of those diseases? Right, you are told here that immunity is long term from vaccination. So, for example, smallpox, smallpox sorry, uh, tuberculosis, mumps, measles, etc. Right, you would have received vaccinations for all these microorganisms. And this is referred to as a form of active immunity as the body makes its own antibodies, but it is said to be artificially acquired because the antigen is introduced into your body, right? It's not natural. It is artificially introduced when you go for a vaccination. So we've covered active artificial immunity. Now, what do you think passive artificial immunity is? Now, passive artificial immunity should mean that antibodies are introduced into your bloodstream. And these antibodies can be sourced from another person, another individual, or even an animal, where antibodies are said to be given in the form of a serum into the body, it is considered to be artificial as the antibodies are not made by your own system or your own immune system and it is said to be passive because the immunity is short-lived so for example if a person develops botulism or a rabbit animal bites them and they develop rabies by being given a serum which contains the antibodies to the pathogens which you're going to find in persons that have rabies or botulism this is said to be a passive artificial form of immunity and it is said to be passive because the immunity is short-lived now keep in mind passive natural immunity is also short-lived that is from mother to baby the baby only gets immunity when it consumes breast milk which contains antibodies so it is said to be passive because it is short-lived but natural because of the source and passive artificial immunity is said to be artificial because it is given in the form of a serum now just to wrap up we have two types of immunity which is called naturally acquired and artificially acquired. Naturally acquired immunity may be active 
which is the body's own immune response system, or it may be passive, which is from mother to fetus or mother to baby in the form of breast milk or via the placenta from mother to fetus. Immunity may be artificially acquired in the form of an active form, sorry, which is a vaccination where the body can make its own antibodies in response to being artificially given antigens or artificially acquired immunity may be passive that is short-lived in the form of an antibody serum. Okay, everyone, thank you for viewing.